I think it is clear that the government was tilting the scales of public debate, but using Twitter as a vehicle, a Trojan horse to do it, because the government could not do so directly because of the First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. And what I say is if these companies are behaving as tools of the government to do through the back door what government could not do through the front door under the Constitution, then these companies ought to be bound by the First Amendment as well. This is yet another example of that, where the White House pointed out specific individuals, Alex Berenson was one example, of critics of the U.S. government and directed a private company, put pressure on them to silence that specific critic of the government, in this case on COVID policy, this is what would make our founding fathers do backflips in their graves if they knew that were happening today, yet that's the state of affairs in America.